In this lesson, we'll be finding the volume of a cone. The success criteria is I can use a formula to find the volume of a cone, and I can use the formula for the volume of a cone to find the missing dimension. The volume V of a cone is one third the product of the area of the base and the height of the cone. Okay, so in algebra, that is V equals one third capital B, which once again is the base area times the height. Okay, and if you can see, the base area of this cone is a circle. Okay, and the area of a circle, if you remember, is A equals pi r squared. Okay, so I can rewrite my equation as volume of a cone equals one third pi r squared h. Okay, so this is the volume of a cone that we're gonna use. Now notice we have a right circular cone and an oblique circular cone here, and it doesn't matter uh, because we're gonna use the same formula each, okay? The a base area, which is pi r squared, and then one third of the height, and that is gonna give us our volume of this cone no matter what. For this example, we're gonna find the volume of the cone and round our answer to the nearest tenth. Okay, so I'm given the height of the cone and I'm given the diameter of the cone, but I need the radius for my formula. If you remember, the formula is volume equals one third pi r squared h, okay? Well, I need the radius, okay? And I'm given the diameter, so my diameter is four, and that means my radius is just half of this, so my radius is gonna be two meters, okay? And my height is six meters. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug all of these values in into this equation. So my volume equals one-third pi times my radius two squared times six, my height, okay? Well, when I'm multiplying these out, uh, first, two squared is gonna be four, so I'm gonna get four here, and then I can multiply one-third times six, six-thirds is just two, so it's gonna be two times pi times four, okay? And that's gonna be two times four is eight, so I'm gonna get eight pi. So my exact answer is gonna be eight pi cubic meters, because my units here are meters, so this is gonna be meters cubed. But remember, I want my uh, rounded answer to the nearest tenth, so I'm gonna use a calculator to figure that out. Okay, so this is my exact answer. Now I'm gonna go to my calculator. So I'm gonna type in eight, and then I'm gonna use the pi button. If it doesn't tell you to use 3.14, I would recommend using the pi button, because it's gonna be more accurate. Anyway, I'm getting 25.13, and then all this stuff. And I wanna round to the nearest tenth, so the nearest tenth, this is my tenth place, so I'm gonna go one space to the right here, that's a three. So since this is below five, I'm gonna round down. So my answer is gonna be 25.1. So my volume V is approximately 25.1 meters cubed. Okay, so this is my rounded answer. And now we're done with this one. Find the height of the cone, round your answer to the nearest tenth. Okay, so I'm gonna write my cone formula again. It's always a good idea to write your formula. V equals one third pi r squared h, okay? And now I have my radius, which is nine feet. I'm missing my height, and I have my volume. Okay, so I'm gonna write all that down. Volume equals 956 feet. My radius is equal to nine feet. And my height is what we don't know, that's what we're looking for. So I'm gonna plug all these values in and then solve for h, okay? So 956 equals one third pi times nine squared times h, okay? Now I'm gonna simplify. Nine squared, or nine times nine, that's 81. So I have one third times pi times 81 times h. Okay, well, I know that one-third of 81 is 27. Okay, so I'm gonna rewrite this as 27 pi h, I'm gonna bring down this 90, uh, 956, I should say. Now I have 27 pi times h, but I'm solving for h, so to cancel out 27 pi times h, I'm gonna divide 27 pi on both sides. OK, 
Okay. Now these are going to cancel. So I'm just going to get H is equal to 956 over 27. Okay. Now this would be my exact answer here, but I want my rounded answer. So I'm going to plug 956 over 27 pi into my calculator. 956 over 27. I'm going to use the pi button once again. And I want this to the nearest tenth. So I have 11.27, okay? But here's my tenth, so I'm going to go one to the right. That's going to be uh, seven, so that's five or more. So I'm going to round up. So it's going to be 11.3 for my height. So I'm actually going to change this to approximately. And then I have 11. Point three. My unit is going to be feet here, because if you see my other units are feet cubed and then feet. So it's going to be 11.3 feet is approximately my height. And now we're done with this one. Find the radius of the cone, round your answer to the nearest tenth. All right, so now I have an oblique cone, but remember the formula is the same no matter if it's a right cone or an oblique cone. So I'm just going to write that formula down again. Volume equals one third pi times the radius squared times the height. Okay, and let's see, I have my height, which is nine. I have my volume, which is 80. I'm missing my radius. So I'm going to plug these values in and then solve. So 80 equals one third pi r squared times nine. Okay, well, first thing I can do is one third of nine is just three. So I'm gonna rewrite this as 80 equals three pi r squared. Now I'm going to divide three pi on both sides because r squared is being multiplied by three pi. So I'm gonna cancel this out. Okay, and now uh, these are gonna cancel. So I just have r squared equals 80 over three pi, okay? Uh, now I have to take the square root of both sides, and I only need to take the positive square root because it doesn't uh, make sense to have a negative length radius. So I just have to take the positive square root of both sides to cancel out the square. Okay, And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this into the calculator to get my answer rounded to the nearest tenth. Okay, So I'm going to go back to the calculator. So I'm going to write square root and then 80 over three pi, okay? And I'm gonna zoom in, and I have 2.913 blah, blah, blah. Once again, nearest 10th, so I'll go to my 10th, which is nine, I go one to the right. And this one is below five, so I'm gonna round down to 2.9. So my radius is about 2.9 inches, okay? Because I'm dealing with inches and inches cubed here, so my unit's gonna be inches. And now we're done with this example. For this example, you must answer a trivia question before the sand in the timer falls to the bottom. Each second, 50 cubic millimeters of sand fall. How much time do you have to answer the question? Okay, so I basically need to figure out how much sand is in this here, okay? And then I need to divide that volume by 50 to figure out how many seconds are going to pass for this to uh, all be gone. Okay, so first let's find the volume here. Okay, now I can see I have this little cone here of just sand, and my height is going to be 24 millimeters, and my radius is going to be 10 millimeters. So I'm going to write my equation first volume equals one third pi r squared h. I know my height h is going to be 24, I know my radius is going to be 10. And I don't know my volume. So now I'm going to plug these values in. So I have V equals one third pi and then times my radius, which is 10 squared times my height, which is 24. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is square this 10. 10 squared is 100. Okay. I'll bring down my pi. And then I know that one third of 24 is just eight. Okay, so that's my volume here. 
And this is going to be 8 times 100, so that's going to be 800 pi for my volume. So now I'm going to approximate this because pi uh, doesn't really help us in this case because I'm going to have to end up dividing by 50 here. Uh, so I'm going to go to the calculator and I'm going to type in 800 pi. Okay. So if we see here, I have 2,513.27. I'm just going to keep this as 2,513 for now. So my volume V is about 2,500. 13, okay? And that is going to be in cubic millimeters. Okay? But I know if I scroll back up here that every second 50 cubic millimeters of sand fall. So I need to divide this number by 50 cubic millimeters. Okay? So I'm going to go back to the calculator and then take this whole thing and divide it by 50. Okay? And then what I get here is I get 50.2, blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to round this to the nearest second. So 50.2, well, this 2 means I'm going to round down to just 50. So I go back out here. So the amount of seconds I'm going to have, aka my volume over 50, is going to be about 50 seconds on the timer. Okay. So how, how much time do I have to answer the question? I have 50 seconds to answer the question. Okay, and now we're done with this one.